everybody. Welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica. And today's video is going to be our first homeschool show and tell of the season. The homeschool show and tell is an open collaboration hosted by Abby from Rooted and Rest and myself. Our goal with the homeschool show and tell has always been to show that there's not one right way to homeschool, which means that there's really not a wrong way to homeschool. We do that by bringing homeschoolers from around the world together each and every month to share their take on a certain topic. This month's topic, since it is our first video back of the year, we decided to bring back a favorite, which is a meet the teacher. So we have 10 questions that everybody's gonna be answering so that you can get to know us for the new homeschool year. First and foremost, I'm going to introduce myself in case you're new. Hi, I am Jessica Waldock from the Waldock Way. I've been homeschooling since the beginning. I have one child, I am homeschooling and only. Um, I work from home. The Waldock Way is my full-time job and I absolutely love homeschooling. Like, I literally think that I was made for this. Okay, let's get started. The first question is, how many years have you homeschooled? I've homeschooled since the beginning. Emily is in seventh grade. I'm gonna just count because some people count preschool, some people don't. Preschool, kinder, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. So if we count preschool, nine years. If we don't, eight years. Do you have a homeschool style? Hmm, can a style be having no idea what you're doing but doing it really, really well? <laughs> if so, that's my style. No, I'm just kidding. If I had to pick a style, I would say that we're unit study homeschoolers. That is the base of our homeschool. It has kind of been since the very beginning. Um, even before I knew that like unit study was the official name of it. I remember our first year homeschooling in preschool, um, I knew nothing officially. Like I really didn't even know I was homeschooling. I just was like, she's a baby and the preschool's so far away and let me just do ABCs and one, two, threes with her at home. And Emily loved animals. Like she's always loved animals. So I was like, oh, I'll do the alphabet with animals. So for A, we did ants and alligators. And I remember for D, we did like this whole like dinosaur deep dive. Looking back, it was a dinosaur unit study, but I didn't know that because I didn't even know that like unit study was a thing. So if I had to pick like one method or style, that's what I would go with. What is your favorite subject to teach? I actually love teaching all subjects except math. And it's not that I don't like math because I actually really, really love math, but I'm really good at it and it comes very naturally to me and it does not to Emily. And so we tend to butt heads over it. Like, I mean, really it's a power struggle, um, which means it's not my favorite to teach. If I had to pick one thing, like if I had to pick a subject that that was going to be the thing that I taught for forever and ever, um, it would probably be history because there's just so much you can do to bring history to life. And I absolutely loathed history when I was in school because it was so boring. So now I find it so exciting to teach and like relearn right alongside Emily because there's so much that apparently went in one ear and out the other when I was in school. If you could only choose three homeschool tools or resources, what would they be? Oh, books, games, and a Wi-Fi connection. Like hands down, if I can have books and I can have games and I can have some internet so that we can watch a YouTube video, um, I'm good. Like I could literally just homeschool with books, games, and YouTube. No questions asked. Um, in fact, that is why all of our wall Way products include books, games, and YouTube, because I like will stake our entire homeschool on the fact that I could do it with just those three things. What inspires you as a teacher? Oh, I would probably say other homeschool moms. Like I know that social media and YouTube and blog posts and all of that can get a really bad rap. And like, we can all be like, oh, comparison is the thief of joy. And it is, I'm not gonna say that it's not, but I can't imagine homeschooling without um, people like Abby, who I collaborate with here. Like I can text her at midnight and be like, I wanna pull my hair out. And she's got kids that are older than Emily or kids that are, you know, maybe a little bit different. And she can be like, it's fine, it's fine. Um, in fact, uh, my friend Shauna from Different by Design, I will link her, uh, has graduated two kids. And the other day I boxed her in a panic about high school transcripts. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so much closer than I realized. Um, 
and she first of all told me that I had time and then realized that that didn't help because I was spiraling out of control. So she gave me a plethora of information and I was like, okay, I feel better now. Um, but those same women inspire me each and every day. Like they absolutely inspire me to be a better person, to be a better homeschool mom. Like I know that comparison can be the thief of joy, but I think if we look at it as like inspiration versus comparison, it, it changes our mindset completely. Um, like I can watch Abby or some of the other moms bake bread from scratch and be inspired that that is beautiful, but also know that that is absolutely never going to happen in our homeschool. It's not who we are. So I can say, Hey, that is beautiful. And I love seeing it. And it inspires me to want to do something beautiful with Emily, but baking bread is not going to be that beautiful thing. Are you an early bird or a night owl? Hands down a night owl. I have tried and I am getting better about getting up earlier because I will be the first to say if you can get up earlier, it really is kind of helpful. Um, it means that I can get my workout in uninterrupted and not have to be rushed. And I love that. Um, and by earlier, I mean like 8.30 to 9. I'm still not trying to get up at the crack of dawn. Like I am not waking up with the roosters. It's not happening. Um, but I will still hands down every time revert back to it's been a crazy day. I want a little bit of alone time and I will stay up till two or three in the morning because I can get alone, quiet, peaceful time and probably regret it the next day. But it's who I am and I have just grown to accept it. I am a night owl by nature and that's probably never going to change. What is your favorite teacher treat? Coffee, tea, candy, chocolate, etc. Um, it used to be Dr. Pepper. I don't really drink coffee. I will only drink tea if it's hot. I mean, if it's cold, cause I only like hot tea, which means I don't drink it very often cause we live in Florida and it's not ever cold enough for that. Um, now it's probably the quest peanut butter cups. I've actually grown to like them even more than Reese's. Um, so if I really am going to treat myself, it's a quest peanut butter cup and a zero sugar cherry Coke like absolutely love them. Love, love, love. Do you prep and plan or go with the flow? A mixture of both. So I like to have a general idea of where I'm going for the week, for the month, for the semester, whatever it is. Like, for example, this is the topic that we're going to study. These are the things I would like to see us get done. Um, but I never am like, this is what we're going to do on Monday. Because as soon as I say, this is what we're going to do on Monday, all heck is going to break loose. Things are going to go crazy and nothing is going to get done on Monday because maybe the AC went out in the house or who knows what something is going to happen. And Monday is going to end up not being a day that we can homeschool. So I have a general, like, this is what I would like to see us get done this semester, this month, this week. And if we can knock two thirds of that out on Monday, then we only have one third of it left to do Tuesday through Friday. Like I don't care where that happens. Um, sometimes we will get really into our unit study and we will end up doing all of our unit study in four of the five days. And then on the fifth day, I'm like, Hey, we really probably should do some math. So we'll do a couple lessons of math. I just have a general idea of this is where I would like to see us go this week. Um, and how we get there is however we get there. And then I will record what we did in reverse. So like I write down what we actually got done for that week. I don't necessarily even care what day I got done on. So I don't plan like on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday. This is what we did for the week. This is what we got done. And then the last one is what is something you really enjoy outside of being a homeschool parent? This is actually a very um, funny personal question because a few years ago, I really like, I remember struggling with it because I was like, wait a minute. I don't know that I have an answer. Like, what I enjoy doing outside of homeschooling is like creating curriculum and working for the Waldock way. But technically every piece and part of that comes back to homeschooling. Uh, so I remember struggling with this. Like I didn't really think I had anything that I enjoyed outside of being a homeschool parent. But in the last year I have been on a health journey and I feel like I have kind of found myself because somehow I lost me myself. Um, and now some of the things that I enjoy outside of homeschooling that have absolutely nothing to do with homeschool are reading, journaling, working out. Um, I go every three weeks and get my nails done. And I absolutely love that. I go by myself. I love my nail tech. It's like the one, like one kind of 
like treat that I give myself and I absolutely love it. Um, so there's been a lot of things in the last couple of years that I have found that I love. Like I absolutely love strength training. It's something I never would have thought that I would have said. I don't like it if I miss it. Um, love doing it. I love reading. Um, thrillers and rom-coms are my favorite. And yes, I know they're like night and day, but that's my favorite. I could binge read every one of them. Uh, I try not to because sometimes that ends up being the reason that I stayed up late and then regret it the next morning. So I try to make myself, you know, be realistic and not binge every single one. Um, but yeah, I've really enjoyed finding myself. I still really enjoy what I do for the wall duck way. Like love creating unit studies, love filming YouTube videos for you guys, love blogging. I love all of it, but technically all of that comes back to homeschool. So the things that are completely not related to homeschool that I enjoy are reading, working out, journaling, listening to podcasts, just kind of, I guess, doing things that fill my cup. I hope you enjoyed getting to know me a little bit better. And even if you do not have a YouTube channel, I would still love to get to know you. So why don't you answer a few of the questions down in the comments, but also don't forget to check the description for the playlist so that you can watch all of the rest of the videos for the people who are participating in the homeschool show and tell this year.